genesis for this exhibition um, came out of experiences of the pandemic. The title of the exhibition is RISE and is an acronym for Resilience, Innovation, Strengths and Efforts. Um, I have been doing a lot of creativity workshops over the pandemic with a lot of um, people and you know they had a lot lots of people had lots of experiences they had to um to show a lot of resilience in in coping with initially the, the whole pandemic and then eventually starting to get innovative to survive and one of the things i was doing with these creativity workshops was really getting people to identify their strengths and take those strengths and start to put it into some real effort action that took um, themselves to another direction. So a lot of the work, um, some of the experiences of those persons and myself too, because I also had my own transition in to cope with, with the pandemic, um, learning to be more online. I was so much of a face-to-face -face artist. So, you know, initially coping with some of the technologies and these kinds of things. So that um, really was the whole genesis for the for the the body of the work. Um, now there are several teams interwoven into the whole thing, so it's not a very one-dimensional. We wouldn't see one set of work, um, one team, uh, several teams, because you know we're dealing with different issues, um, emotional issues, mental issues, physical issues, and it's all of these weaving into this body of work. One of the things that um, is very significant with my work is that you will see that it's very bright. It's all about hope and positivity uh, are two of the underlying things that my work represent. Uh, lots of positivity and lots of hope so that there's this sense of brightness and, um, you know, um, giving people a sense of where the art could really touch you on a deep level. And not just a surface level. So, yes, yeah, so eventually I selected ones that I felt um, worked well together and work well in the space. Um, so yes, so it was a larger body of work. Normally that happens because you always have those um, ones that are not so successful, which help um, help the others. You know, sometimes one you learn something from that one, and you know, and work is always ongoing. So they are always work in progress, and um, ones that actually are finished. Um, so yes, yeah, so it's a, a larger body of work, and we normally will select um, what we consider our best ones. Although sometimes other people might find a uh, uh, next piece, but you know, they like that. But I guess it's the artist's choice eventually in terms of what works well together, because you want um, to create a sense of unity with all the work together. I had to do myself, do some adjustments with Trent being home. Um, and when you work at home and Trent more accessible with the pandemic, I mean, we were locked down. So yeah, well, you know, you made some changes in terms of your times, your work and, and adjustments. So yeah, there were adjustments, especially with um, time management and dealing with everybody at home, you know, cooped up and yeah, you had to make some changes and some adjustments. Um, to how you work and how you, because you're always so more accessible when your kids are home and you are home and sometimes, you know, they know you are wrong, so yeah, you are working, you, you're there. <laughs> you're always there. So, yeah, so there were some adjustments. In this show, there was um, significantly acrylics. Now, I do work with different mediums, um, oils, watercolors, uh, I change all the time, depending, um, but this work um, was essentially acrylic, acrylics. A lot of my work comes out of my life experiences. So it changed depending on what is going on in my life. Um, if I'm liming and we outdoors a lot, you know, you'll see a lot more scenic. Um, if uh, in the cultural shows, you will see things related to that. So it a lot depends on what is going on with my life. My work always comes from, from my own life experiences. If I'm painting something scenic, I have to go and visit the place and enjoy it, lime and, uh, you know, sit down, like, like I have some river, river scenes here. Uh, when they opened up, that's the first place. Let's go and meditate in those spaces. So they came out of that. So yeah, so as the spaces, I have to be part of the that environment that I'm painting, so it comes out 
from within me and and then translate into the work thereafter. I don't really have a favorite because the thing about it, when you're working on a piece, that's the favorite piece. It's always, you feel, oh, gosh, this is it. This is the one. You know, you'll be so engrossed and engaged in each piece that at that point in time, that is the best piece in the world that you ever do. Um, and in the early days, when I had now started, people were talking about, you know, you, you, if you will part with this, it's so good. But you always feel the next world will be better because you always want to grow. You always um, so whenever you're working on a piece, because you yes full engagement, that piece is the best piece. So it's, sometimes it's very difficult for you, the artist, to even choose because each piece has some kind of relationship and story and uh, emphasis. Um, origins that is so personal so it's really difficult it's like trying to choose your best child you know each one might be has their own individual um personality so it's the same thing with the work the work is like your, the artist trend so each one have their own little personality you love all and you like being engaged when you're engaging them it's like the best thing in the world so you can give a hundred percent so the favorite one is the one you're working on <laughs> one of the pieces that really started which was Rise, the, uh, one of the original pieces. It kind of started uh, because I had an uncle who died from the pandemic in the early days, and you know, it was kind of, it started off as one of the pieces that um, was troubling to me at first, you know, because it started off as a memoir, and then eventually, as uh, even when these classes started to emerge, you know, it, it, it shifted to, a spiritual kind of awakening, a celebration of life. So uh, originally, that piece kind of started off as something that was an initial um, genesis for this whole exhibition, you know, the whole pandemic and having some, a loved one um, die from the pandemic, you know, it, yeah. it has had, so, um, and it was one of my mother's last brothers, so, you know, this was kind of, yeah had that a little emotional um, impact yeah. initially. This was a wonderful experience because this space mm -hmm. is a fantastic space for what it connected with what I was all about to, because of, um, the whole Lloyd Best Institute and some of the um, ideologies mm -hmm. with, respect, with respect to the Caribbean-ness, uh, because I have a piece there that it's, it's all about the Caribbean identity and Caribbean consciousness you know, the uh, fig leaf there, and the, the leaves are all about all the different um, races existing in the space. So the work also relates to the space. And one of the things that I've been doing over the last couple of years is taking the art, I've been working on a project called Inner Spaces, Outer Limits. And it's about taking the art into different spaces or widening the spaces so you have a wider audience accessible to the art. Yeah. So, um, so this institute is up in the east, and I felt that I wanted to, to, to shift and use some different spaces that people, more people could access the work. Uh, because not everybody could go into the major galleries in, in the Port of Spain. So, um, so yes, yeah, so the space really worked on, on different levels, one in terms of location, and two in terms of the whole psyche about what this um, Lloyd Best Institute was about. Um, the, and what they're about with the cultural um, support and continuous um, showcasing cultural things. And you know, my, sh my work kind of connects with that, that whole um, Caribbean-ness and, and oneness and identity, trying to find yourself. Um, so the work relates to that whole thing. So the space was very um, symbolic from that point of view. So a lot of the things, some of the work is all about finding yourself, identifying with your own strengths. And I have been really promoting that in these creative workshops that I teach, getting people to see their own strengths and their own abilities. I also have a lot of students that I teach and getting them to, to believe in themselves a little more because I think um, that whole thing about self-esteem and everything that's going on is very low in, in a lots of people. You, they, they don't feel, they lost that sense of hope sometimes. So trying to give people a sense of hope and a sense of identifying your own strengths, um, being inspired by your own self and getting that self-identity 
all um, ironed out, I think that would be the, the one thing that I want people to take away. You know, that sense of self. We, we need to get more into what, who we are and what are our personal strengths because most of the time, even with the whole global um, information technology that's going on, people keep looking out for their identity when it's right there within you. Right? Like I have a piece there called Backyard, and it's not really about the backyard. It's about that your beauty is right there in your own space. Um, sometimes we keep looking out when we need to reflect more in. So, so the main thing will be for people to really get that sense of inward reflection and identify their own strengths so they could take this and use it um, to take themselves forward to start to discover your own dreams, you know. Uh, people have been their own dreams and they're putting it on the back burner, you know. Go after it and find yourself. Well, um, the work, that they, although the exhibition uh, is, is over, um, the work could still be accessible because you could get in contact with me um, via email. I'm on Facebook, so you could get to me kmwartists at yahoo.com or um, to my telephone number, uh, which is also on WhatsApp, 7910560. Right, so because we, we sold a few pieces, but we still have a, a few left for, 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 for you out there. So um, put some joy and hope into your house, brighten it up. My work brightens people's spaces, um, uplifts your space. So own a piece of original art, and it's, it's affordable. <laughs>